Wanted to post a video about this new mod I did. Uh, I put a Sony HMZ T1 into a VFX1 shell. You can see the HMD is mounted here into the visor of the VFX1. I also put a um, tracker in the headset uh, that is based on the MPU9150 SparkFun board. And then in the back is an Arduino Nano board that I'm using to process that data. Uh, this makes for a really sweet HMD. Uh, of all the consumer HMDs I've used, um, this is probably the best setup I've seen. I am a little spoiled about OLED. Uh, I love the OLED color. I love the black levels. I just think it looks beautiful. And putting the Sony into this VFX1 shell has allowed it to get a little closer to my eyes so I can see all four corners without any blur and it just looks beautiful. I'm also using the Viero perception driver to uh, inject the head tracking data into games like Skyrim, um, Borderlands, uh, TF2, um, a bunch of games uh, people doing this kind of stuff are very familiar with at the moment. So yeah, it makes for a really nice HMD. It's very comfortable to wear. You don't have all the issues that you have with the Sony getting that red pad on mark on your head. Um, you know, when I use the Sony HMZ uh, in its default package, I kind of get a headache after a while. I'd say about 15 to 20 minutes, and I, I've spent hours wearing it, both for um, my own uses in games and, and in professional um, experimentation. But yeah, so it looks pretty nice. Um, trying to make it as clean as possible. Uh, right now it's just kind of double stick taped into the shell, uh, so is the tracker, but I've run the wires up to the headphones and everything, and it works really well. I just put it on like people who have worn the VFX1 are very familiar with, and it allows me to set it so that my eyes are right in that exit pupil and everything looks really beautiful. So uh, this is what I do with uh, my Sony HMZ-T1 in my VFX1 shell, so thanks. Thank you.